Alright, so it is now 4.36 in the morning and we are on our way to go get one of the rarest animals in the world. I don't know what's going to happen on this journey, but this should be exciting. So Sean and I are 99 miles away from our destination, about two hours away from where we need to go to pick up this crazy primate, this crazy ape. It's actually one of the most endangered apes in the world because of the way they're threatened in the wild. Palm oil production and logging have totally destroyed this species habitat. We've got Mario from ZWF following us because we are trying to get this guy here safely so that we can get a mate for our boy Kasem who is a really special friend if you guys have seen him on the channel. But I guess we haven't done a proper introduction yet. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is an early morning here. We might need to stop and do a little restroom break, but we are almost where we need to go. I think there's a bunch of animals that we're gonna get to see, so hopefully we get up there and we can explore this property. I can't wait to see what happens. So we just got here guys, we can see some animals. We've got some camels over here. Look at the camels. We are gonna meet with this guy and see what everything is all about. Probably not gonna bring the big camera into there. Let's see what animals he's got. got this girl loaded up now as you guys can see they have a beautiful big boy giraffe there he's about 12 years old we got to have him come down and just pet him a little bit he was super cool they've got some camels they've got sheep they've got goats I think they have zebras we didn't spend much time there though because we've got to get this girl on the road down to ZWF so I will see you guys once we get down there now guys but we are about two and a half hours away wow I can barely see obviously we have precious cargo we have myself we have Sean and we do have Miss Gibbon lady she is all good back there um, she's keeping quiet she hasn't put her arms out up here much to see what we're doing she's kind of just keeping to herself so if she can just stay calm I think she's been going to sleep back there that would be the best but hopefully we'll get out of this rain soon. I'll see you guys at the zoo. And we are at the zoo now, guys. That was a crazy trip. Let's check on this girl right now. Oh my goodness, hello, sweet lady. Hello, sweet lady. Was that a long trip? It's okay. That was a long trip for this girl. So because we were in a rush to get down here to try to make the move as fast as possible. It's all right, mama. She's looking out the door now trying to see what's going on. She has no idea what's coming and we're getting this enclosure all set up perfect for her, but it's just now that I've stuck my finger into the enclosure. It's okay. She'd been putting her head down for me to get some scratches. We're not trying to be too loud. We're just trying to make her feel comfortable. That's the most important thing. Look how long these beautiful arms are. She's got some big old nails. Do you want these nails painted? Look at that, just like our fingernails. 
She is a really sweet girl. It's okay, Mama. Everyone likes a little treat, especially after behaving so good on our little trip. I actually did give her a bite just to see if she was hungry. Look at this little girl. Oh my goodness, look at those big fangs. You got some big pearly whites. Yep, there you go with the big old hand. You are a beautiful lady and you're so nice. Here, look at that big old purple tongue. That's fine, thank you nice lady. She is being so sweet, so gentle and nice. So we've got her into Mario's office right now. She's just settling down. Her enclosure is almost ready to go with everything that we're adding to it. And so she is just going to adjust here fine, but we will update you guys in a little bit. All right, so it's actually been a few days to settle in. Oh my goodness, Kasem, I can't go much closer than this because those big old long arms, he'll try to reach out and grab me. If you guys have watched the channel before, Kasem, the white-handed gibbon boy, does not really care for me too much. A lot of people say gibbons don't like guys with long hair. I don't know what it is, especially the male gibbons, but Tessie girl over here, you can see we have her in an adjacent enclosure so that they can see each other and get used to each other before introducing them. Look at the size difference. He's right here in his lockout. Hi, Mama. She usually sings a pretty good song for us. I think she's going now. Yeah. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. You're a beautiful girl. So now she's coming down. She's a little more relaxed. We actually did just have the leaf blower come through here. Try to clean up these areas a bit. Their enclosures still need to be sprayed out. So I think she's a little freaked out from the leaf blower. Oh my goodness. She is just a beautiful girl and all of us here have fallen in love with her. There's just something so special about her unlike any other animal here. I know, girl. And I think all she wants is a companion. So I'm hoping that we can actually create a little bit of a relationship with her. And I'm hoping that Kasem and her can become best friends very soon. We're trying to do this in the safest way possible. So we are going to wait a little bit. Oh, are you calling now too? It's actually funny because her and Kasem talk, but she also communicates with the wolves and the singing dogs that you guys saw in the last video. There she goes. Is that your little wolf howl? That is a beautiful song, Tessie. That is a beautiful song. She might go a little crazy here. She kind of does that after her little call, a little jump around, but she has been the sweetest girl. So happy to welcome her into the family over here. But Tessie has been the sweetest girl. As I said, we've all fallen in love with her and I can't wait to share her more with you guys. So if you guys have stuck around this long, thank you for watching. We will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.